guys, welcome to another Paint With Me video. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint this lovely lake view with mountains. Um, it's kind of an easier thing to do, even though it might not look like it to some people, but actually this is like super, super easy and I totally believe you guys can do it. So if you wanna paint along with me, you should. <laughs> so keep watching and I'll show you how to make this little painting of your own. So I wanted to do something really simple for you guys just so that you can kind of get a couple more techniques down. Um, if you wanna check out my watercolor basics for beginners, you can do that as well. I will link it below. Um, but today we're going to paint a lake scene. Um, so we're gonna start with a piece of paper. I've just cut my piece of paper in half um, and I have taped it down using painter's tape just to this piece of cardboard because that's gonna help keep it flat. Um, because when you add water, sometimes depending on the paper and the quality of paper you're using, uh, the paper can tend to bend and curl. So you wanna tape that down. I like to leave a little bit of a border about the same width all the way around. And when you pull the tape off, it's just gonna leave a nice white border. So to get started, we're gonna need a couple of colors. Um, I'm going to use a red, purple, yellow, and blue. Um, it doesn't really matter which types or what shades of these colors you use, just use whatever you have. It's not gonna make a big deal for this tutorial. Um, so we're gonna start, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the colors into my palette. So I'm gonna take a large brush. This is a 12, um, a number 12 brush. This is silver black velvets line. Um, and it is a round brush and it's nice and soft. So we're gonna start by grabbing a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna wet this whole paper. So you're just gonna Put water all over your paper first. And we're gonna start on the sky. If you watched my um, beginner tutorial, you will see the wet on wet technique. Um, it just helps to allow the paint to kind of blend together a little better. So once your paper is nice and wet, you're just gonna take a little bit more water I'm going to go in with the blue. Um, I'm not gonna let me put this over here so you can see. I'm not going to do it just a plain blue. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of purple in there um, just to kind of get a a less ultramarine blue color. I actually have a little black here. I'm gonna mix that in as well just because I like the darker. Now one thing to remember as well um, when you're working with watercolor is the paint is going to dry a little bit lighter so don't be too worried if it looks a little bit too bright for your liking so I'm just going to grab that paint I'm just going to start painting that on to my wet paper. So now I'm only going to go about three quarters of the way down because the bottom portion will be for the water. So we're just doing the sky right now. I'm going to go back in with a little more water and I'm gonna just darken the top area a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add basically a little more paint than water that I had previously. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of sun. Um, I'm gonna make kind of a sunset effect happen here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and sort of make it orangey, orangey sun-kissed kind of shade. Sort of like that. And I'm gonna add this to the bottom portion, the center in the bottom. You 
if you need to just blend that out, you can grab a little more water. Again, I'm not doing this perfectly um, because I wanted to keep it simple for you guys. So something like that to start and then I'm gonna grab a little more yellow and then add that. What we're gonna do is grab a bit of tissue and just wad it up like this. And you're just going to kind of go in and lift off some of that paint. This can be like as random as you want. Um, I like to kind of turn the tissue as I go or else you kind of get the same uh, damping effect kind of on the whole thing. So you can use a paper towel for this, um, which is probably better because tissue tends to kind of break off. So just place this wherever you like, place the clouds wherever you feel um, there should be clouds. This will be totally up to you. And then I'm gonna let this dry a little bit here on my paper, I'll get that when it's dry. Um, then we're going to work on the water portion and we're gonna fix up the top a little bit. So I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that that is dry, I'm going to go in and paint the water. So I'm just gonna grab a little water on my large brush again and I'm gonna grab a blue color this with a little purple again and I'm just going to do pretty much the same deal um, and paint the bottom half. And I'm going to grab <clears throat> a little bit of the yellow again because we want that reflection in the water I'm gonna grab a little yellow and red. And just sort of gently. Put this in with uh, some horizontal strokes. So I'm gonna let this dry again, and then I'll come back, and then we will work on the mountains. Alrighty, so now that this is dry, I'm gonna go in and do some of the mountains. So for that, I'm going to grab a little bit of black, because this is gonna be more of like a silhouette. And I'm gonna mix that in with the purple a little bit so that it's not like super black. I'm gonna take some black on my brush. And I want this uh, kind of less watery because I really want it to be like a dark silhouette. So all I'm gonna do here is just kind of decide where I want to put a mountain. Um, so I think I'll just do one on this side and then on that side, make it really simple. So all I'm going to do is take my brush and just kind of do a sort of sketchy outlined blocked off area. <laughs> whatever you want to call that. I'm not too good with my uh, descriptions. Anyways, so I'm just gonna do something like that. 
um, will go in in a little bit and make it a little bit darker. But for now, we'll just do both of them on either side. So maybe this one kind of comes up and then down, something like that. These can be totally random. It doesn't have to be perfect because no mountain top is perfect, is it? So just something like that to start. And then what I'm going to do is kind of make little, um, little strokes. I'm just pushing the paint up a little bit and this will kind of give the effect of trees. Just make it a little more imperfect along the top edges. You can just go along, do something like that. You can also grab a smaller brush if you want to and go in and make some taller trees. Maybe I'll do that after just to show you guys. Then I'm going to go back in and I'm just gonna kind of make it a little bit darker and just go over what I've done. Now, I'll show you what I meant by the trees. Um, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is a number three brush. And I'll just wet that a little bit. And then we'll go in and kind of paint in just some little like sketchy, tree shapes. Now we want to work on the reflection in the water. So what I'm going to do is take my number six brush. I'm going to grab some of that same black purple color that we had and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the blue that we used in the water. And then I'm going to gently with horizontal strokes just kind of mimic what I've done at the top here. You do it horizontally like this, it kind of mimics the ripples in the water. So now that that is pretty much dry, I'm just gonna go back in again and darken up the dark areas that I have here. So I'm gonna use less water and I'm gonna grab the black purple mixture and then just go over this one more time. I kind of want to add a little bit of detail uh, to the clouds. So I think what I'm going to do is take this number five brush. This doesn't have as pointed of a tip as the other one. Um, this is a, what is this? Just a Da Vinci 315. Uh, number five brush. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and a little bit 
little bit of the blue. Get it nice and diluted. And I'm just gonna kind of add some bit of reflection to the white areas that I have um, taken off with the tissue just to kind of add more of a cloud-like feel. So what I'm gonna do is just coat in and make it a little more yellowy. If you need to get rid of paint, again, just grab a tissue and you can literally just pick it up. It's pretty easy. Well, it's still wet, of course. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight just to some of these clouds. If your water is dirty, definitely get a clean water. I'm just not really worrying about it right now. You can have two glasses, one for um, rinsing your brush and one for just a clean water wash. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do. I hope that was easy enough. I'm going to now pull this tape off now that my uh, painting is completely dry. And there you go. If you guys tried this tutorial, I would love to see your final paintings. So add them on Instagram and tag what should the hashtag be? Wonder painting. And I will check them out. And maybe we can uh, start a whole little, I don't know, a little uh, hashtag party over there with these painting videos that I do because I do have a couple more plants so we can paint together some more. Um, if you have any suggestions for anything that you would like to paint, do let me know in the comments and I will try to do that for you guys. So. Once again, show me your paintings. I would love to see them. And hopefully you learned a couple of things with this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like this video, and check out my blog. See you later.